welcome back to my channel. So I just filmed a whole intro and the speaker wasn't on. So that's fun. But anyway, this is a bit of a random video because I've been having so much time lately, I've been feeling very inspired to cook. I don't cook that often. I do my meal prep. I don't really cook dessert recipes that often. And I think what a fun way to spend my time. That is really annoying. So I thought what a fun way to spend my time making healthy dessert recipes. So I just wanted to touch on the coronavirus, which is why I have so much free time. Australia, it is Saturday and we are currently are not in lockdown, we're not in quarantine, but pretty much we just are trying to self distance our, distance, self distance, distance ourselves from other people. So I thought what a great way to spend my day cooking. Now these recipes are quite easy and quite simple. I believe that most of these ingredients you will have in your cupboard. So like just random things like buckwheat flour you could change to flour or coconut flour or something like that. But you can definitely swap out some items or change some things up as you go along and realize that you might not have those ingredients in your cupboard. So the first step is washing your hands, especially at a time like this. Wash your hands. So after you have preheated your oven, the first step and my big tip is to prepare before you start. So get everything you need out. So you can do it quicker, just zap everything together and boom, voila, you're done. Okay, first step, you will need a bowl and two overripe bananas. These ones aren't like super overripe, but you know what, you pick your battles. That's the best I can do out of the banana collection today. And you just plunk them in. Oh yeah, another thing we do at school is we get a scrap bowl. Ah, uh, that's a good idea. A scrap bowl. Boom, scrap bowl. Scrap bowl can be over here. And then you just gotta mush it. Mush it all up. That's pretty good, pretty decent to me. Because I'm not using a food processor thingy, I just gotta do my best at mushing. Two tablespoons of sugar-free maple syrup. Ah, oh, this will make it yummy, 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 yummy. You can use any sort of sweetener for this, but I'm just using sugar-free maple syrup. And then two teaspoons of vanilla essence, but I mean like, is two teaspoons the equivalent to like a tablespoon? I don't know. Too much washing up for my life, so I'm just gonna do like less than a tablespoon. It's like that much, so I don't need to do as much washing up. I bet you I'm gonna need a teaspoon in this later, but it's okay, it's okay. We'll use that for now. Boom. Whiskey, 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 whiskey. Plonk that in. Next step is you're gonna wanna melt your coconut oil. So I'll just pop the kettle on. <laughs> Bit fast guys, don't, don't, don't do that. Pop that in there. And then you just plonk that in and mix it up really well. And then you're gonna move that bowl to the side and get a new one for the dry ingredients. Now you're gonna add one, that fly, better not touch me food. I'm telling ya. Okay, now you're gonna add one cup of buckwheat flour. You can use almond flour, normal flour, Really, whatever flour tickles your fancy. Pop that in. 
And then half a cup of almond meal. Coolio. Okay, now you will need a teaspoon. Because trust me, you don't want to get a teaspoon of baking soda wrong because, oh, that's disgusting. Pop that in. And then some cinnamon, a, about a teas, two teaspoons, I reckon. Go two teaspoons. One, actually that looks like a lot. Two teaspoons. Mix this really good because you want a taste of everything in one bite. Now you're gonna add your dry ingredients to your wet ingredients. And just, just, just. I'm just gonna use a little bit of skim milk just so it's not as, just a tiny bit. Cause I feel like it's a little bit too stiff. It needs to be a little bit more runny. This was not the right word though, but YOLO! Okay, so now get your baking tray. This next step is completely optional, but I just like to make it look pretty. Get a knife and just slice it like this. Hey Siri, set an alarm for half an hour. The alarm is set for 1327. Why do I do this to myself? I cook and eat. Oh, this is a banana. Oh my god! Rolled oats, half a cup of sugar free maple syrup. Yummy. Now you're gonna need half a cup of peanut butter. I'm using this Mavis one. A quarter cup of cacao powder, one teaspoon of vanilla essence. Okay, we will never know if that was actually a teaspoon because it kind of dripped in. You're just going to stir. Yeah, we got the yum, yum, yum. So that made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven cookies. Cups of buckwheat flour. One teaspoon coconut oil. Quarter cup of maple syrup. And you're gonna pop that in the oven for 10 minutes. Hey Siri, set an alarm for 10 minutes. Okay, while I wait for it to bake, I'm going to make the caramelly beet. So you're gonna need one tablespoon of coconut oil, half a cup of maple syrup, or maybe a little bit less, two tablespoons of peanut butter. Put it in the fridge for half an hour to let it cool down. Okay, 
Okay, there we have it. Millie's cooking channel done and dusted. This is what they look like. Now it's time for the fun part, tasting them. Just a quick little thing. These recipes and these treats are healthy, but like anything, if you eat too much, it's not gonna be healthy. So pretty much, I would eat half of this banana bread as a treat. You do have to be strict when you bake things and to share it around or even put it in the freezer and just save it for the next day, that's always a great idea. I don't know what I wanna try first. I think I wanna try the banana bread first. Mm. Do you want some? No, no. Let me finish my intro. Is yeah, I think so. Now onto our little peanut butter cookie. Mmm, so yummy. Oh my god. I'm sorry. That is the ice cream man. Anyway, don't mind the ice cream man. Now for what looks the yummiest a little caramel slice yummo like i'm not a huge fan of chocolate like i love chocolate but i will always go the more banana -y things but anyway i hope you guys like this video if you did make sure to subscribe actually take this time right now to subscribe and like this video oh yeah and by the way I got chocolate on my shirt because I may have licked and dipped, but that's okay. I wash my hands afterwards. Wash your hands, kids. Anyway, bye guys. Stay rosy. Mm.